Let me know when you're going. You're ready. All right, it's, uh, it's Miller with Z1043 and iHeartRadio in the studio with uh, Lovely the Band. Welcome back to Baltimore. And, uh, and you guys currently are on tour, um, which seems like it's never going to end, which is exactly what you want as, as a band, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. And you always want to be on the road. Longevity. Uh, is there a moment when, like, if you're not on the road or you go home for a couple days that you feel like you're missing out or, like, I should be back on the road? Is that that feeling? Uh, or is a break okay? After, after a couple days, yeah. Yeah. But a break is nice. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you do take a break, I always like to ask the, the question of, like, when you take a break, what do you like to do? Is it do, do you catch up on sleep? Do you try to do things back home that you don't get to? It's really a matter of not being on a schedule mm -hmm. because we are just, I mean, every you know hour we have things to do, essentially, on, on, we're on the road. So it's like, when I'm home, it's like, I can drive when I want to get food mm -hmm. when I want. Yeah, we were talking about that last know? night. I was playing a video game and I was driving in it and Jordan goes, I miss driving. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Little things. Yeah. Uh, well, we brought some food for you guys to enjoy. So uh, I know you guys are a fan of wings. Very yeah. much so. Is that like the, the, the go-to food on the road for you or it, is it just? It legitimately is. Like mm -hmm. after we do this kind of thing, we usually go and get wings. Really? <laughs> yeah, so this is cutting out the middle. So, so far, I'll hand these out. We've got, um, we've got Buffalo ooh, ooh. Um, and then we've got a Baltimore classic here. We've got Old Bay, Bay right. which is Jeez. great. So right. dive in, enjoy. Uh, go adventurous. Yeah, go get crazy here. Um, what um, when it comes to like wings? I'm sure every city you go to, you probably like, oh man, those are the best. <laughs> those are the worst. Blah blah blah. What um, has any stand out to you? Like, have you had one that was like liquid, like lava in your mouth that you couldn't breathe afterwards? We had. Uh, I I'm not really the, the spicy adventure. Yeah, I, I don't like. I mean, like I, I like spicy, but I don't. Well, I'm more about the flavor of the buffalo. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Not it's a nice hot one. It's a nice yeah. butter to butter to hot sauce ratio. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh. So, right? Hey there, old bay. <laughs> we got a fan. This is good. <laughs> you ain't bad. <laughs> um, when, so with the, with the tour now, like, uh, are you able to put wings on your rider? Because I feel like you guys should. Like that's got to be a thing. Like we want wings delivered. Start demanding. Why haven't we done that? Yeah, I don't know why we. Have. I know. Wait, one time we did. We did it, and then somebody was like, "We did it in Buffalo." Oh yeah, true. Sure. Where there are buffalo wings. Is that where they started from? Yeah. Uh, apparently. <laughs> like legit. Like legit. So buffalo wings came from buffalo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, good to know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, in and, case you're wondering. Yeah, I'm just curious. I, you know, you learn something new every day. Um, and and do you have a favorite seasoning? Like a favorite that uh, you said you don't want to get too hot, but like there's garlic, there's barbecue, there's honey mustard. Like, do you have a favorite style of wing? There's buffalo. a, buffalo. yeah, there's a, there's I buffalo. think, I think the buffalo is Buffalo's collective. for sure collectively the favorite, but I know. I know we like. I mean, we also like to dive into like a uh, like a teriyaki, mm -hmm. like like Asian There's style, like Asian sweet, sweet chili, something. sweet chili. Uh, I nice. I really do like the combination of barbecue and ranch is like my favorite though. Barbecue, okay. Like only yeah. barbecue and lots of ranch. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise it's like you like garlic like pond. I like garlic pond too. Oh, uh, lemon pepper is always a. Good. Good. What was that? What was it? Let's see. Was it? Was it? Pittsburgh, I think. Yeah. Was that wing place? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, oh that, that, I liked berry one. Our bass player went and got some one day. It was like a berry barbecue or something. There was like a raspberry barbecue yeah. or something. What? It was and sick. They have all these eclectic flavors and they were all so good. Have you, you learned one? Have you learned a lesson yet of what not to eat before you hit the stage? That yeah, maybe no, yeah, but we never this follow it. <laughs> okay. I mean, like, like legit. Like, <laughs> also, don't get a big steak. Yeah, don't get a ribeye we've 20 minutes before you eat. <laughs> or before you go on stage. We're definitely like, okay, we play at 9.30. It's 8 p.m. Let's go eat. Yeah. And then we finish eating at 9 and have to rush over. And <laughs> the whole thing. So we we kind of know not to do that. We learned that on this tour, actually. Really? The hard way? Yeah. yeah. Was there, like, a, a certain performance? Like, what happened? Um, oh, it's just like, like just usually gross. you want to feel light and agile for an hour and a half, but yeah. with a um, 14 ounce ribeye in your face, <laughs> it's <kind of laughs> not, not easy. Jordan is very, way. very concerned about his agility. Yeah, I yeah. am. Right, are you doing I did, a kick, I did a kick the other night, and I he's don't the, know. He's really the only one that can be yeah. mobile, unless Mitchie isn't playing guitar, but yeah. Jordan's the one that moving everywhere the whole, the yeah. whole set. So Ooh, my, diet, my diet is soup and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Just literally leaves. Yeah. Yeah. So with the, with this tour that you guys are doing, um, do you get a chance to kind of like be as creative as you can with the, like obviously the set and or the set list and what you do and how you present yourself? Are you already starting to think about what you'll do next for like the next tour that you can start like, you know, if we're going to do this, we want to do like these kind of, this kind of production level. like. Honestly, I mean, at the moment, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not, well, it was one city one day at a time. Yeah, I was trying to 
Well, it's just because sure this tour stays good. Yeah, it's it's good. we worked so hard getting this tour together. So we're like, right now, I mean, how many shows are in are we? Like eight, eight or nine shows. So we're like sitting in it and we're like yeah. enjoying it and enjoying the, you know, le the least amount of problems that we've had yet. Yeah. Or, you know, kind oh, of. Uh, I'll with some more. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's That's adorable. <laughs> um, I noticed um, uh, your, your tattoos. Uh, you, how many do you have? Too many. Too many? Mm -hmm. What was your first one? Uh, can you get to it? Yeah, this one. <coughs> Protect your family? Mm -hmm. My bunch of my friends don't have habit. Oh, really? Most of them I don't speak to anymore, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, and it, is it like, how often do you want to get one? Is it something where you're kind of like not addicted to them, but like, would you be like, you know, every couple of months I want to get one? Um, kind of. I, like like I just got a tattoo like three days ago. Yeah. What? I feel like. Yeah. Where? My neck. Oh, jeez. Your coffin or mine. It's a coffin. It says your coffin or mine? Uh, is there like a purpose to that one? It's a song lyric from this band off on trail. Huh. So every, does every tattoo have a meaning? Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. just like, let's just go pick one. Yeah. Jordan and I are still in the low numbers. I only have two. Jordan is, what, you have five now? Four? Six. Yeah. And when you went the first so, one, did So it... all of ours still are meaningful. Yeah. Okay. Um, at some point, it'll be just ours. Completely different. Next time I see you, you'll have a full arm, like a full sleeve. We'll right? see. <laughs> <laughs> um, you now, when you go and do them, do you have to like, uh, do you, are you in the mindset? Because I don't have a tattoo. I'm like, I'm definitely afraid. Um, it, would you go into one and say like, uh, you know, it, was it a bet, was it a dare? Or is it like, let's just do it together uh, because of the band or do you gotta do it on your own? Well, it's the sort of thing where like, like a couple days ago, like yeah. she was like, look at this, we were in New York City. Look at this, he goes, look at this cool tattoo artist. Um, I hit him up and he has the space you, you want to, you know, do you want to get tattooed? And we, I want, you go on his Instagram, and it was sick. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll go get something. And then I'll think in the archives of what I've wanted, and I'll yeah. Like, yeah, maybe that he'll be good for this. So, yeah. Which one hurt the most? Uh, my ribs. Your ribs? And he has a big banana, Andy Warhol banana. Holy cow! And oh. Eddie, did you like? Did you feel like I have to continue with this, or can I stop? Like I would probably be like, all right, you know what? Never mind. Make it something smaller. Or was it like oh, I got pushed through it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I almost tapped out. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of funny because he has so many, so you just expect him to be used to yeah. it. But I mean, when you got, got the lips right here, here um, we were in Dublin. No, Belfast, Belfast. And um, it, we, Jordan and I were. He's laying on his side so that they can get that yeah. there. And every time he starts going, and you see this, it's just <laughs> tense enough, and like I hate being touched. <laughs> it's brutal. Um, no. what, I'm out of uh, spots that don't hurt. The which one? I'm out of spots that don't hurt. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, good. So, so now everything's just going to be perfect. Right, exactly. Perfect. Um, we were talking a little bit ago. You guys, are, I think, are doing what? Is it Hangout Fest you're going to perform at? Mm -hmm. um, and we, you said about how you know Junior World's going to be there. When you get to go and play at like a, fe a festival, do you get a chance to enjoy it as well? Or is it a kind of where you go in, you get ready, you do your set, and you're, and you're off to the next one? Or can you enjoy it? Sometimes. We've gotten kind of lucky with the festivals where we're like have the weekend so, off or a couple yeah. days off around it. But uh, sometimes we're in and out. Yeah. And then, uh, who else on that lineup is, is, is there that you're excited to see besides Jimmy World? Uh, Vampire Weekend, Lumineers, um, Sir Sly, um, mm -hmm. bunch of people. And when you when you're at those, is there never Cardi? Oh, I've heard of her. Um, when you uh, go to that like, and you get to connect with an artist, is, right? Does it ever get started there? Like as far as like the possibility of possibly like working with someone or yeah. networking? Like, do you get the chance to do that, or is yeah. it more like a hey, you, you did great, good job? See you later. There's definitely a lot of hang, but there is that aspect to it of like, hey, we should do something. Yeah, yeah, it's mainly a hang up. Mm -hmm. your, your people call my people. Hang up has been the best festival in the world. That's our favorite one. Mm -hmm. Why not? Why beach. is that? It's on the beach. Oh, that's it's awesome. just well set up, really well done. Yeah, and it's it's just, catering's great, yeah. it's very organized. Do they have wings? No, the like, catering is well, phenomenal. Yeah, 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 but they've got like, you know, a spread. Um, lemon zest chicken with <laughs> <umbrella. laughs> like, really well. Yeah, also like last year, I watched the killers from a jacuzzi. Yeah. Like that's what? Uh, yeah. It's the best festival. gets to say that. That's awesome. Um, and then uh, the rest of this year is it is it's still more touring. But is there anything else that you want to try to get into? Is there any other like venture that you're you're interested in? I want to learn banjo. Oh, you really? Yeah. So I'm gonna try to, when we have some ample time off to buy one and learn how to properly play. Properly play. Maybe yeah. maybe if 
maybe some banjos gonna be on the next. Song. Yeah, mm-hmm. watch some YouTube videos on how to play on the ban- on the bus while you guys are on the road. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it won't be annoying or obnoxious at all. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. What about you guys? I play some video games. Um, I don't know. I haven't thought too much about it. Yeah. And you're a video game guy, so what do you play? Like? Currently, I'm playing. It's a little old, but I'm playing Far Cry Five on the bus. Um, and no one likes playing video games with me because I'm Aww. very, very good. Because oh, I played it's them fun. for too long, so <laughs> Mitchie gets upset every time. It's just not fun. Jordan, it's, it's Jordan doesn't like it either. No. Oh, no. Yeah. And what's the longest you've actually played a game where, like, you started the game and you kept playing until how long? Uh, though there's been games, especially like Red Dead Two, because we were actually off while it was while it just came out, and I played that pretty much nonstop. Like got in trouble with the girlfriend and everything. It's the whole thing. That is the thing, right? <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, took break just to eat and sleep. Um, when you get a chance to uh, hop online and watch anything, what are you currently binge watching, or what's the latest thing you watched? Uh, Netflix, Hulu, whatever that you recommend. Game of Thrones. I just binge watched uh, an old buddy of mine just put out a show called Rami on Hulu. Okay. And it's so good. What's it? Like, what's the premise? Uh, it's just, it's a is it kid that he's Muslim and it's him just like basically like he's like in mid 20s whatever and he's just trying to like figure out life as a Muslim kid yeah. like he's like um, you know his religion and being like oh like because he, he teeters the line of like wanting to be really strict with it and then like does things that like aren't yeah in his religion and stuff and then like, it's cool. just like cool. the battle back and forth and shit and yeah. so it's, it's really good really good I, um, I just saw Atlanta on um, the re- most recent Delta excursion that we've been on. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I watched like seven episodes and it's great. Is there, when you're on a plane, I, I, I experienced this, I just flew from Chicago the other day. Um, I feel awkward if I pick something on a plane that may either have like nudity or sex in it because I don't want people to think I'm a weirdo. Like, so I'm like very cautious. I watched The Greatest Showman as I flew home the other day. Yeah. Like, I'm like, this has got to be safe. Like, do you ever feel the same way? Like, I'm going to be careful we, what the, I pick. The, the newest <laughs> planes have uh, privacy screens. Yeah. So you can't nice. see the person's screen from the other seat. Oh. But what, what are you the row on? back can yeah, still right. see. Right. The guy behind so, like, what <laughs> <laughs> there, was, awesome. there was one time actually was it you or no, you? I felt <laughs> I was across the aisle from Jordan he was in like an aisle in front of me and um, I just like looked over and he was knocked out for like a couple hours and I was watching TV and then I was I'll, I just start seeing some stuff <laughs> and I'm like Oh my god, he's asleep. No one, like, I can't tell him. It was, it was Ballers on HBO. Yeah. Oh, good. And just some saucy scenes came on. The yeah, Rock, the, the Rock butt. Yeah, the Rock <laughs> came out and uh, started doing his thing. And it was apparently a lot. It was too much, but I was knocked out, so I didn't know. Yeah. Go ahead. People giving you weird looks. <laughs> and with, uh, last question, and I'll let you guys go. Uh, Game of Thrones, you said you're obsessed with it. Did you watch the last episode with oh, the yeah. Starbucks cup? That everyone's freaking oh, out yeah. about. Did you see it so that night? I didn't see it when I watched it through. Yeah. And then I went on Twitter because I was like, okay, now it's safe to go on social media. Yeah. So I was looking and then it was like, what? Yeah. And I zoomed in and I was like, no way. And I went back to the episode and like scrubbed to where I could see it. And I was like, oh my God, it's real. Yeah. Like, it's there. Yeah. It's unreal. I can't. Yeah. Literally, so someone get everyone's fired drinking from that? beer. Because like, the I don't know. work great. Everyone's talking about it. It's. That's that's see that's the hard part. Right. I think if social media didn't exist, no one would ever notice no, it. No, no. But just one person saw it, posted yep. it, and it blew up. It so. went nuts. Yeah. Are you ready for it when it ends? Are you going to be able to be okay when it ends? No, I'm going to cry for a long okay. time. That's what I figured. Especially if the person I want, I don't want to. To be on the throne. Okay. On the throne. Okay. I haven't seen a single episode, so I have no idea. What oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So this you is going to end. All right. So uh, lovely band. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, enjoy. Take the wings. Take the pizza with you, and uh, we'll hang out real soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys. We're live. Yes. It's C one hundred four three in the iHeart Radio Studio.